Hey, what's going on guys? This is Bryce Lewis. Um, it's been quite a while since I've uploaded any training footage. Um, I've been kind of continuing that over on Instagram. Trying to get back into YouTube, but you know, it just kind of takes a while to upload footage. It's, um, uh, well, TSA is busy these days. Anyway, um, I want to give you guys a demo, um, a, an instructional video about how to create a dynamic chart. Um, makes things look really nice and Essentially what it does is as you add cells or as you add data to a column, like let's say body weight here, um, you want a graph to expand to accommodate that new data. Because what happens otherwise is you end up with um, a ton of cells with no data. So here, let me show you what the problem is. Let's pretend we've populated dates all the way down to the 15th of February here. So um, let's pretend that I, I want to track all of this in some graph. So I'm going to select all of this and I'm going to say insert and I'm going to insert just a line chart here. Okay, so it looks all right, uh, but it just stops here. So there's all this empty space over here on the side. And you can imagine that if I'm trying to track body weight over, let's say a full year, um, my content of uh, tracked data is going to be extremely small. So let me drag this down a little bit further to just show you the size of the problem. Um, and let me just say enter so that it updates and we should see, ah, I guess, oh, because I need dates all the way down there. So there we go. Um, obviously I don't get much of a picture from seeing uh, just this amount of data. We really want it to size with the data. We want it to be dynamic um, as I enter in a body weight. So we're gonna get rid of this for now and we're going to build a dynamic chart and we need just a few pieces of data. We need one um, helping cell to count the number of cells here that are greater than zero. So I'm going to use this count if formula and I'll put it right up here at the top and I'll say equals count if and like it says it's going to count based on some type of conditional. I'm going to give it a range in our case let's say uh, C6 uh, to C and then I can choose some value way down there. So let's say a thousand. Um, maybe I want to track for quite a while. Maybe we'll just say 400. So it'll track for a little bit over a year. And my criteria in this case needs to be in quotes. So I want it to choose values that are greater than zero. And I want to close this out. So this will always give me uh, an updated amount of how many of these cells in this whole range are greater than zero. Um, and in our case, since all of these are blank, that just means whenever your athlete uh, puts in a number. So if they put in 120, it updates to 17 and so on. As I delete values and add values, you see that number change. Pretty simple. The next thing we need to do is to create a defined name um, using an offset formula. So this will define a range for us um, and that range will adjust as data is added here. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit more about how to get to the graph. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to um, insert, um, or if you want to go here, I think it's in formulas, and you can click define name here. Um, we can create names for things, and we're gonna start creating one here um, based off of this offset formula. Now offset is a great function. Um, it can do a lot of different things, but we're using it here to define uh, a range. Essentially, offset says, in simpler terms, um, equals uh, offset, and let me choose a cell here, and this will give us a reference cell. And the next thing it calls for is a number of rows and columns. So it, uh, based on some type of reference, it will retrieve um, some result. So let's pretend that I wanted to retrieve this number or whatever's in this cell. So I need to go over one column. I needed to go down one, two, three, four rows. So I wanna go down four rows. I wanna go over one column. And then I want to get a cell that is one by one. And I close that and it shows me my 140.5 cell. So this is useful in a lot of ways. Um, we will be using it instead of drawing a single cell we're gonna draw something bigger. So this height and width we wanna get. We're actually gonna mess with the height because we need um, a big range here and we need that to be dynamic. So getting back to the point, let's go define a name and let's enter in something convenient like um, 
dynamic chart, dyn underscore chart. Now we're going to start using that offset formula. So equals offset. Oop. And we're going to offset on some fixed cell. In our case, uh, we can choose this body weight cell here, so this C6 cell. Uh, remember, um, absolute references use dollar sign C dollar sign six. Um, what else? Uh, well, we want to offset by just one row because we don't want body weight included in our data set. We want the cell right below it, so we want to take just one row down. Um, we don't need to offset any columns because it's all directly underneath. Uh, and now, for the size of this range, we actually need to use the count if formula. So we can reference this cell we already built that into. Dollar sign C, dollar sign five in this case. And we want to take one column's width. We can close that and say plus to add it to this worksheet. And we can click OK to finish off. We're doing great so far. The next thing we need to do is to create a chart. So let's scroll down here and let's select all these dates that we've got here, um, all the way down here. And let's go to insert and insert that same line chart from before. And let me bring this back up to the top. Okay, so um, there's actually a formula um, that makes all of this happen called a series formula. Now there's a few ways we can do this. Number one, take a look at this series formula up here and take a look that it requires a few um, inputs and you can Google to see what those inputs are. We will be editing this in a different way. So I'm going to right click on this chart. I'm going to say select data. Um, and you can see that it's drawn this data here. We've got um, the horizontal category axis labels. Uh, that's the X axis. That's drawing all of our dates, which exactly we want. We don't want it to draw all of these Y values. We want something different. We want um, a dynamic range. So before I do this, let's go back and uh, make sure that range is doing exactly what we want or that um, um, name is doing exactly what we want. So if I click here for dynamic chart, and if I click in here, you'll see that it boxes over exactly the cells that we wanted. So it's doing exactly what we want. Uh, let's add in another one just to make sure it works. I've put in 141, and let's go take a look at the same exact thing. Um, okay, great. So it's, it's now taking exactly only the Y values that we want. Great. So Let's go back here in this chart and let's say select data. And now we only want the Y values that are in that range. Luckily, we've already defined that name, dynamic underscore chart, and I can click OK. And there we have it. So this is a complete picture. Um, the graph fills out all the way from left to right. I can put in uh, new data in here, no problem. And the graph will expand to fit our new data. The rest is up to you. Um, as you can see, the, the y-axis is set to automatic, so we'll automatically adjust the scale to fit the data. Um, and you can feel free to customize that yourself, but uh, very useful for, let's say, volume, intensity, um, body weight. Uh, maybe you want to track things like uh, sleep or mood or anything like that, anything that requires the athlete to enter in data on a daily or some other interval uh, basis. You can use uh, named ranges with an offset formula and some type of limiting factor to count the number of cells um, that actually contain the data you want. Hope that was helpful and I will talk to you guys soon.